His final words All right, for gentlemen, Boris. you got your instructions. Watch him up. Let's go. Let's go. Well, the touch gloves didn't quite shake hands, but the glove touch was done. Here we go then. The first bell goes. Who will be first to strike? Who will be the first to command respect? Yeah, they're certainly keeping he occupied and backed up. And that's just showing the strength and the power. But that's a strategy, maybe. Here comes Hay trying to gamble as he comes in with those punches. A couple of jabs do get through. Go who extends that left hand lead. And yet Salam, the big shot that he promised, he went through there with the big right hand. But Klitschko saw it. A heavy shot, if you're going to throw it, it's got to be after, do you? And then do it. Ah, yeah. Wild in the opening round, he had to go for it. But I thought the jab, now that, that's what you do to oh, Wild. Throw them to the floor, just show them who the strong guy big is. shot that he can land to change the face of heavyweight boxing. He was closer then with the right hand. But the jab is a problem for him. And Klitschko is so good at nullifying if he misses with it. They knew that just the first psychological shot made it. He's pulling away from his punches. I mean, his boxing is all over the place. Close enough, he's having to leap in with the punches. So they will not see the power that they used to see for him. I think that was another good round for Klitschko. Who's got to say to him? Okay. Yeah, Kong, tell my back. Jay, play tell. I think we're seeing some real good technique. From Vladimir Klitschko here, showing little feints, keeping David he occupied, and the way he steps away from the attacks of he. There's the jab landing. He's thrown the right hand for the first time, and I think he is a little bit troubled that he's not dealing with the jab and the fact that he's having to leap in with his punches. His feet are off the floor. To win fights. There's the right hand. That's his best punch of the fight so far. And he so dominant. Blood around the nose of Klitschko and the left hand there. Caught him off balance. Good shot again from Hay. But then now back comes Klitschko. Time just to take a little look at Klitschko. But he's right into it here. And now he's forced to the ground. And referee Gino Rodriguez saying to him, just watch on that. And you can hardly hear from the... That's a real heavy leather landed in this third round, Jim. Yeah, some good work from here in that round. Thankfully, he took away, you know, that, that kind of smoothness from Klitschko. But I still think Klitschko come back. From that, that was the best punch of the round. I still feel like Klitschko answered pretty much everything that the David threw. But the main thing is David's got himself into the fight. He is the one improving it, but this is the answer from Klitschko. And he did land several jutes because of this fight. Done a good right hand from Klitschko, but he's taking it well. That's a couple of good bloody shots he's taken, and he's taken them well. Just he genuinely it. believes he can win it, and Hay was saying to Klitschko there, come on then, come on, get in, have a go. And I mean, blood again, it? coming from the... He won the job, that's his main problem. That's yeah. the right hand from Hay, though, over the top. Klitschko went with the punch, took the fall from the right nostril. Hay was receiving them, but there you see, he's thrown more, but Klitschko's landed more. Here's what he thought. Well, I just think he took too long to get into to, to the fight in that round off in the last half minute or so, but he took too long. By that time, I thought the round. But there we go again. Every time he lands, he forces Klitschko on. Standing there, looking for opportunities, trying the right hand now. But the fight this is because he still looks strong legged, he looks quick, he's not producing so he's much of about that, as long as he's making this big fellow work. It's all been at range so far. Well, we're into the last minute of the round again, David has it, oh, good right hand! Good shot from Klitschko, Hay this time wants to hold on. He's be worried about, can he take a full body shot at heavyweight, but he's up, true warrior. He has fighting heart. And they're pulling down Klitschko, that's what I really feel Klitschko is boxing well at the moment. David has to come up with a big shot to knock some of this confidence out of him. There's the left hand, right hand from Klitschko. Mark underneath his left eye, which has worsened a little bit. And he pulls Hay down again. It's good calculated boxing from Klitschko. Good right hand again from Klitschko. Hay has to absorb it. His chin has looked good so far, but he looks disorganised as he swung off balance there. And another round for Vladimir no, Klitschko. So, you know, if Hay hits him a little bit more, he may have even better results but he has to throw the punches and he has to get to Klitschko. But then Klitschko again landing the better shot, stopping the, he from doing anything. But 
Yeah, the only one you could have given to David Hay so far. And the British fans who've come over here in their thousands, a bit subdued. Hay gambling again and once more forced down to the canvas and complaining differently to how we're seeing it. Foreman has the fight level. That's a good shot from Hay, that's better. It might be that he's won this round as well. Yeah, he's won the round, definitely won the round, but I wouldn't make a turn eight round. Aido still looks sharp, he's still proving or trying to prove an elusive target and just saying to Klitschko, come on, come on, let's see what you've got. Get the body again, this is better. Better indeed. Get drama, let's get excitement and the skill as well. No, I think David, they David have to stop this. I think there isn't any drama this time. They slipped that shot well. Basically now, the jab from Klitschko. We thought by the halfway stage that it would begin to take him some good moments in this round. Just a little bit wild again. He is the one who's frustrated, that's the problem. Tried to throw punches with a little bit of Klitschko corner. And there's the tail of the stats. And Klitschko, the way we're seeing it at ringside, at least our stats men, he has landed very many more punches. Yeah, you can feel how heavy this job is becoming. In eight rounds, so I think he's going, oh, that's the start, that's what we want, take chances. Well, we said before the fight began, it was going to be edge of the seat stuff, and it still is, as Klitschko has kept here off balance for a lot of the time here. There's the pull around the back of the neck, and this time the referee is having a word with David. He again not doing enough to win the round. Good work from Klitschko, just stop him when he's tracked. I don't know if that is. Of the growing confidence of the older man. Hey, wild with that right over the top and punished with the right hand. I've never seen David Hay throw so many wild punches. was made to miss wildly on occasion. See, John, he can't say it himself, he can't box his way into range because the jab hits him every time he we tries to go. He, he, he puts the, the, the hand forward so it doesn't have as far to move. I think the hay have thought exactly the same, but haven't done it as yet. His punches have stacked up to create the damage with the right hand over the top and Hay protesting about the... Ability. Although Klitschko is guilty of it. I wonder if there'll be grumbles come the final bell. He's not looking to hurt David, he's not looking to finish. He's just popping away, so maybe he's like not knowing how to get himself into it. Great shot from Klitschko, he takes it well though. Well, I tell you what, he has answered some questions about his two tickets. you got to pick it up though. The left hook, you're not throwing it at all. I hear Emmanuel Stewart there saying you've not dominated either way. So maybe, maybe Hay is still right in this. They're certainly trying to get six minutes remaining in what he threatened might be. No signs of stamina. Well, he's getting down to the knock. No, that's nonsense. But I think, do you know what? I think that's the referee's becoming frustrated as well now. Well, Hay now has got to fight on animal courage, yeah, so they obligated to necessarily make that a 10-8 round. I've seen them go against that. The closing seconds of the penultimate round, Hay, disorganised and wild, goes lunging in. Case, really, for Hay, having this any closer than I have it, there's no way it should have to see what is going on here. You know, you want to watch... And then he's going to keep him under control. If he's not instantly his ground, I can try a hand from here. That's what he needed, and he needs more of them. Needs to follow it up now. And it's Klitschko this time who's holding on, trying to buy a few minutes, and he's looking up steady. Hey, he knows it, and he's bundled to the ground again, saying, come on, come on, let's have more of it. And Klitschko, only two handed, big shots in this final round. Now it's Klitschko on top. Maybe that attack has taken something out of David. I mean, this guy, we have to remember, two stone weight advantage. I think David was shaking. And he goes for it, he just has to, he's ahead here. Klitschko with his gloves held low, he's feeling the pace. And Hay to go to the final bell, it's going to go to the judges' cards. And we haven't had a trim in Hamburg. 
and both of them try to throw bombs right to the final bell. Both of them raise their arms, perhaps more out of optimism than belief raises his hand. And he really shook Klitschko right the way down to his boots, and from then on, Dr. Steel Hammer. Despondency realised and Vladimir Klitschko has proved emphatically his respect at last.